Hey guys, how are you today? I know you're probably all wondering, what the hell is that bag? <laughs> all right. So we are here as part of the My Year 2017 Facebook group. If you don't know what that is, it's a year-long art journaling group and documenting your life sort of group. If you um, are interested in being a participant in the group or my other Facebook group or shopping at my Etsy shop or sending me happy mail or emailing me, anything like that, please go and check out the video description because the links for all that are in the video description. All right. That being said, this month is June and we are exploring the prompt of growth. So, and this in my week, I'm really encouraging you to stretch your wings and um, encourage you into the area of personal growth. I'm still tr struggling with how to exactly say that to you, but I'll figure it out by hopefully the end of the week. Um, so whether you're, we're talking about exploring yourself and what you really want out of life, exploring your art, being more brave about expressing who exactly you are, whatever that is, I want you to explore that. I want you to take a deep breath and you, I want you to take a step towards that goal. That being said, one of the scariest things for most of us creatives who are also te usually introverts of some sort, I know I'm on YouTube and that makes no sense, but trust me, I am, um, is to do art in public or to tell people that you do art. Because how many times have you been in a group setting uh, with maybe your husband's work friends and they get introduced to you and they say, oh, hi, Gina, how are you? What do you do? Oh, I'm an artist. Oh... <laughs> you get that? You get that, oh, okay, kind of response from them. You've all been there. I know you have. I get that all the time. I don't let it get to me anymore. So wherever I go, I always have some kind of art supply. This is my actual handbag. <laughs> this is from Amazon. The little thing is from my local hippie shop, my little owl. Jingle bells. Um, and this is my actual handbag. And I'm going to prove to you everywhere I go... Put those away. So they don't go in there. Um, everywhere I go, I have art, something to do art with. Everywhere I go, I have this small pocket size. Well, in cough drop wrappers, small <laughs> receipts, small pocket size um, plan um, traveler's notebook, and it has a mini ink joy pen in it and some notebooks that I can just doodle in and do whatever. I don't work in this all the time, but when I feel the urge. I can just sit down and do a doodle. I can do a more realistic drawing of whatever's right in front of me. It doesn't have to be perfect. I don't care if they don't like it. This is about me. This is not about them. This goes with me everywhere. If you guys want links for anything that you see in the video, if you leave a comment and, and let me know, I will try to remember to put them in the video description, but if I forget, let me know. All right, so this is my handbag. This goes with me everywhere, of course. One of the other things I do when I go out of town or I'm away even for overnight, I always take an art bag with me. So my main travel art bag is this one. This is a little mini cosmetic suitcase. I got it in a vintage shop. I get asked about this all the time. Um, it's from a vintage shop. It's a little train case. And I don't know, <laughs> you'd have to look around for them. I will tell you that it measures about um, just about eight and three quarters by probably 14 um, by six. My dream is to manufacture these someday um, or something similar and a few other items that I'm going to show you today. My dream is to, because I've really searched high and low for something that works for me, whether I'm flying or driving, um, that'll just work for me. And this works great because it seals shut. I can put whatever I want in it. I don't have to worry about stuff falling out. It is small enough to go on the plane with me. It fits under the seat. Um, so I don't have to let it out of my sight. I don't care if they lose my clothes, but don't lose my art supplies. <laughs> I did create a belly band for it. There, I, there's a video for this on my channel. This is just to ensure it stays closed and doesn't pop open because it is a vintage case and I do have a tendency to put a lot of stuff in here. It does have its own um, travel tag, um, address tag, um, with my business card in it. So that does, which is on the other side, um, so that stays on here and that's more cute than anything because I would never check this. 
and I can pack this with a variety of different things depending on what I'm doing while I'm gone and what um, projects I'm inspired to work on. Generally speaking, I always take my watercolor with me. Sometimes I take the sort of smash booky stuff with me. Occasionally I take acrylic paint with me, but not too often. Um, I do have a mini paper trimmer. <coughs> this is by American Crafts. <coughs> I think I got it at Hobby Lobby, I don't remember. Baby wipes, always. <coughs> Talk about those in a minute. Um, I have a Faber-Castell um, water glass. Uh, this doesn't always come with me because frequently, I mean, this is cute and all, sometimes I bring it, but um, I frequently I can just find a paper cup or where, what, something like that wherever I'm at and that works just fine. Um, if I'm not sure I'm going to be near somewhere where they're going to have something like that, that also happens occasionally, then I do bring this. But this doesn't actually always come with me. In fact, I've thought about getting rid of it recently. Um, a small sample size container of extra heavy gel medium. Um, you could use anything, um, but you don't need to bring the whole big giant jar. I just need to bring the small jar for when I want to glue heavy things into my journal. Um, and I do I'll keep it into a Ziploc bag because if you're taking it on the plane, the air pressure can make it explode. So, uh, you know, better be safe than sorry. This is my travel watercolor journal um, and this always uh, almost always goes with me I do stick all my plain um, luggage tag things in the cover um, I'm gonna start working on the back cover soon um, and I do little paintings in here um, at least one every time I go somewhere um, and you know it's gonna take me a while probably to fill this up but that's okay it's not about filling it up anytime soon that's oh that always comes Something else that always comes is my basic watercolor travel kit. Now this is from art-toolkit.com um, and you can get these with or without a palette in them. I would recommend without, um, especially if you already have a small pocket palettes. Now the Winsor Newton pocket palette will fit in here. I have a metal pocket box in here. Um, and with my favorite watercolor colors. And then I have a small sprayer, a couple of water brushes. There is a needleless syringe to refill these, although honestly I've never used this. Um, I, I still have it in there, I don't even know why actually. Some mini pencils and colored pencils and mini pens. A white gel pen, a black Sharpie pen, a black Pilot Varsity pen, and um, actually a, a super fine point black Sharpie pen, a ruler, a piece of a gift card, and a couple bulldog clips. Paper toweling, wax paper, plastic wrap, a little bit of salt, and, some, and an eraser. All of the tools that I would maybe need to create an interesting watercolor while I'm away. I really don't need more than this. This has gone with me a lot of different places. It travels really great. Um, what colors exactly that you bring in your watercolor kit are totally up to you. I have a selection of Koi and Daniel Smith colors in there. Um, I took the inside. Let's see. There's a little tray that fits inside of these that I took out so that I could get more watercolors in here. And these, this is my palette selection. But you could customize that to be what works for you. And I just keep the rubber band on there to just help keep it closed. Of course, I'm on camera. It doesn't want to go back together. <laughs> okay. So this is always in here. Usually right there. This is another travel bag. Uh, this is from Amazon. Um, I don't. I don't think there's a manufacturer on there. It just says something else. But this, it doesn't matter what the bag is. But this is a small one, and this one contains a spare pair of reading glasses. I have a manage that needs that. Um, a little small a vino shampoo bottle that I washed out that has glue in it, and then a stapler, some tape runners, a little mini ink pad, a date stamp, and some glue stick. This is like my adhesive bag. So my stick it in adhesive bag. So generally, this also is always in here. This bag is one of the optional bags 
this bag has colored pens and um, markers, a mini pair of scissors, a palette knife, my neo a small set of neo colors, some stencils, some sponges. This one doesn't have to come with me. It usually does, um, but it's one of those bags I can take out and leave if I don't want to work on that kind of project. I do have a spare one of these watercolor kits. Now if I decide I want to bring an extra set of watercolors, like maybe my metallics, I would stick them in here. I do have some regular watercolor brushes, travel brushes, that I occasionally bring. I don't bring them, again, all the time. So this is one of those optional bags. If I'm going to the desert, I frequently bring this one and I stick my muted palette in here um, because it has just the right colors, um, it, it, extra colors that aren't in this one. And then I do have an acrylic bag. Now this acrylic bag just has some acrylic brushes in it. I may actually add a couple of things in here um, I was thinking about last night, but for right now it just has some brushes in it and some small bottles of Liquitex Basics paint. These are 15, uh, oh sorry, 22 mil bottles. Um, and it is um, a nice little travel pen bag and it's small enough, see I could take this out I could put my gel medium in there and my baby wipes and that would fit just fine. Um, I, if I wanted to bring this extra travel kit, the watercolor kit, uh, yeah, it would still fit. Um, so um, think about taking art supplies with you wherever you go, whether you're just going out for coffee with the girls, take a little sketchbook. Um, don't be afraid to show who you are to those who care about you or and who cares what strangers think. Have fun with your life. Take your art supplies with you if they make you happy. That's the bottom line. I do that all the time and I love it. And I don't know how to now go on vacation or go anywhere without them. Even if I don't think I'm gonna use them, I bring them. <laughs> all right, that's it for today. Don't forget to check out the video description. Above all, have a great day. Um, remember our prompt for the My Year group this, this month is growth and explore that and see what that means to you. Have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.